Alright guys, so today we're going to work on the truck a little bit, well, the motor for it. We're going to start stripping down the heads. Um, we're going to pull the valves and everything out of it, get the valve stem seals out of it. Pretty much strip the heads down to bare. So, rag, magnet, to catch the retainer clips, and then the valve spring tool. So, pretty much this sits underneath on the valve. This goes on this. So, this is the bottom. So, this up. do sometimes. You gotta see clip out. Gotta throw a rag over it. The light is swinging everywhere. And then you go ahead and pull your valves and your valve springs out. Container, your valve springs, and then your seat clips. So, we'll go ahead and finish up the rest and everything, and we'll put on a time lapse, and then we'll get to the next head, and then show you the next step. intake and then one two all the way up obviously obviously your intake ones are going to be the bigger ones in the exhaust so we'll go ahead and pull these out and mark these up real quick and then we'll get to the next part of this and I like to use a paint marker on this so pull it out just put it feet on it so I'm not going to actually number them Actually, I will, I'll put one on this and then a two up here, or a dot actually, and that would define which head it goes in. So one dot will be this head, and then no dot will be the other head. And that's for exhaust. We'll intake one out. This will be I1 with a dot. Surface of the valves where they seat and 
tie the head, you know, the face valve, seat seals, all that stuff, so, which I have them in the, in the box over there for me. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do now and pull these valve stem seals out. I'll show you the new ones. Let me do them right here. Yep. And these are the Felpro ones. There's a part number if you guys are looking for it that are valve stem seals. So we're going to go ahead and pull them out of here. I'm not going to replace them yet because I'm actually going to take it to the shop, the machine shop, and they're going to go through with everything. So, but we're going to pull these ones out. And it's pretty simple. You get a pair of pliers. Just grab it on the top. And they pull right off. the other head and do the same thing on the other head. So I'm going to pull the, actually the valves and everything out of those, mark them and then pull the valves and seals off of those. Maybe if I used the magnet guys it would work because I'm an extension. Alright guys, so I got that valve out, or the two out. So both heads are done, stripped, valves are, everything are pulled out, and the valves some seals. So, where well, I'm going to leave it at for right now, I um, was thinking about taking it to machine shop for them to go over the heads, make sure they're good. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, or if I'm just going to check it myself. And I do want to pour them out, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to strip the heads down. So not in this video, but in the next video or another video, I'm not sure what video will be next, um, we'll get into porting these heads. So we're going to do the intake side and the exhaust side, so we're going to gasket match them. So that will be a video soon, but just a quick little video for now guys, hope you all enjoyed it. I'm tired, it's just hot, you know, Florida heat sucks guys. But that's it for now. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the notification button so you guys get notified when I post a video. So, yeah, I'm at 317 subscribers, I think, right now. Something like that, 318. Um, let's try and get 400 by the end of this month. That would be awesome. So, yeah, keep on watching these videos, guys. Please subscribe. keep on subscribing. And, like I said, hit the notification bell so you guys get notified when a video comes out. It helps me a lot. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.